Welcome back guys. Today I will show you how to create a forest plot in R. So first of all for that reason I am going to show you my data. Here is my data. I have for 13 different countries that my education is my variable. So I am considering the event is high fertility and the control is low fertility. I have termed my event treatment EV.TRT as my event under the treatment group and in the TRT means the number of total treatment and ev.ctrl means the number of event happened in the control group that is the control group of uneducated person and number of total control so if you face difficulty to create your metadata you can comment and i can make a video so that you can create your metadata so i am going to make sure that now you can create your forest plot in r so i'm opening r and for that reason i need a package that is called meta so I'm going to open load package because I have already installed it here I have meta you can watch meta and if you have this package off, uh, downloaded already you can see my video how to install packages offline or if you have internet connection you can, you can install it from internet that is from install packages and now I'm going to import the data and if you don't know how to import the data you also can watch my video that how to import data in R so I'm importing my data in R okay before running my command I have to change my directory because I'm using the change directory method here I'm clicking change directory my file is skipped in desktop so okay so I'm now reading the data so it's successfully read let's check whether it is wrong or right okay my data is right now I am fitting this data and a model so that I can find my metro regression uh, forest plot so I'm fitting the model as y equals to meta bin you have to use this command that is meta bin always Without this command, you cannot uh, consider that you will find the proper forest plot using this package that is known as meta package. So what you have to do after this that you can simply copy this rows elements, this marked elements, control C, then you can paste it here. Okay, and I have to separate them with comma. Okay, so I have I am now in I have introduced my uh, elements to R. Now the next I have to show that here you can see that country here is a variable that is country this column. This column is showing me that country there are different thirteen different countries. So I am introducing R that my stud lab is T U D L A V equal to country okay so I am I have introduced my R that start life equal to country comma data and now introducing where this file will be get be got by R because R does not know what is even EV the treatment he has just only read that file so I am introducing that uh, my data is kept in D D Come on, now you can essentially define that what is your fx size. I am declaring here it as O I odds ratio. By default, it is given as risk ratio. So I am running the command. So it is successfully run. There is no problem. So that is the main next part that why you are waited for. So the forest plot. So I can simply make a command that is F O R E S T forest of Y. So forest of Y will produce my desired result. That is, here you can see the result. But in interestingly, you never see such kind of forest plot in your books or even in on internet. So for that reason, I we have to moderate this graph so that we can th get the original form of the forest plot we are used to see because you can say that these parts are shaded 
you never see such, such shaded picture in your book or in practice and also you never find here these elements so I am going to make some operation on this plot so that it looks like the original one we see used to see in our books so what I have to do that I am going to conduct okay the forest y now I am additionally saying or my r that is in the left column I would like uh, in the left column I would like to recall to mind my plot here here I have my plot here you can see that okay here you can see easily that my left column uh, here I have one two three four five five columns but usually we don't need five columns so we can easily put here one study and uh, another is our fx size usually we find it in our books so that's why we don't use this part and we will remove this part and replace it with our fx size so for that reason I am telling R that I need forest comma left calls l e f t c o l s that means in my left columns i want to find my stat lab that means i have introduced in the previous command that is stat lab equal to country so r will take stat lab as country next comma and also i want the affix size and so that for reason I am saying R that effect. So what happens if I run this command? Let's check. You will find a change in the graph that you have only two column here. You had five column in the left side, but you now only have two columns. So this is really good working. So next one is that I want to do some additional transformation that is in the right column. In the right column also I don't need this elements odd ratio because I have already found my fx size in the left column. So why I need this in the right column? So I will uh, replace it. Okay, let's see how I can replace it. So I am writing the right calls R I G S T C O L S. Right calls I want to keep the confidence interval. Here it is a confidence interval. I want to keep it. And so I am writing C I comma also I want to write the weight of random effect here is the weight of random effect so I am writing under quotation C sorry W dot random M I'm dropping my quotation closing the bracket okay let's run this and check whether there is any change in my graph okay there is change so it looks more like my books now but there is still some problem that it, it they are shaded and it does not look really good to me so we have to con again modify it and how I'm modifying it that I'm writing here I'm putting the colors back to the picture that is the here I can see, I first of all I want to show you that there are some square parts square and also a diamond shape in so I have two shapes that is the diamond shape and the column shape the square shape so for square shape I am first of all writing C O L that means color dot color dot square S Q U A R E square equal to I'm putting the default black color B L A C K okay now I'm writing uh, running my common oh there is the magic so your uh, square has changed its color next I have to modify this one because I haven't put it any color in the combined effect this is really important we are really most of the time we are interested in this combined effect so I'm writing another comment that is comma call equals to sorry call dot diamond d i a m o n d equals to black c k okay i'm running the command so here is my diamond score is also black next i am mm, doing some additional tricks that is here i'm writing 
that I want to print the Q value and the I square value because in books we usually see them so for that reason I am writing P R I N T print dot tau square I don't need the tau square value that's why I'm putting F that means the false comma next I am printing P R I N T print dot q value i need the q value that's i'm putting t t means true and also p r i n t print dot i square equal to true so i uh, want to see the i square value that's why i'm running it common let's check a difference in the picture okay now i have the i square value i have the chi square value and the results is looks really close to my books so how do you interpret these results? You can see here that here is a one. This is called the line of no effect. So generally, if any study uh, touch this effect, this line, we say that the study has uh, insignificant outcome, and we can see that none of the studies is effect touching my or uh, line of zero effect or no effect. So all study have significant impact on that does education has significant impact on this this uh, country so we can see the overall impact overall impact for random effect is 0.28 it is or not also touching the line of no zero uh, no effect that we can say that overall results is significant and it is reducing because their earth ratio is less it's reducing our high fertility thus when there is educated person more and we can expect that the fertility is reducing so that was all for today i hope you have enjoyed it thank you